Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. It's about 525 and it is pouring rain outside. I've looked at the radar and it looks like it's going to clear up in a little while. So I'm going to have the guys come in. I think we're going to be able to get our job done, which is a big driveway removal and replacement. <clears throat> We've been doing a lot of big driveways lately, which is great because that's what I love to do. I have a couple shout outs this morning. The first one is to Todd Schultes. He sent me a Diet Dr. Pepper shirt. If you know me at all, you know that I have a little Diet Dr. Pepper obsession. So thank you, Todd. And then the second shout out goes out to Carlos Gonzalez. I think he's in South Carolina now, but I think he was a garbage man in New York City. Either that or one of his relatives were a garbage man or are a garbage man in New York City. So he sent me a really cool gift. He sent me a New York City Sanitation Department t-shirt and then a couple patches along with a 911 memorial patch, which is awesome because, again, if you know me, you know that I love the garbage men. Speaking of garbage, I'm gonna take this garbage out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? You taking over the coffee shop? What? You taking off taking over the coffee shop for Jewel? No, just a few days. Yeah? yeah. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Morning, Jessica. Good morning. How's the coffee business? Oh, it's going good. All right. You know what you're doing yet, though? Um, you can be honest. Yeah, it's questionable, right? <laughs> Some things more than others, definitely for sure. You'll pick it up. You got big shoes to fill, though. Uh, yes, I know. Yep. Oh, by the way, this one's the most important. That is? Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. How are you? Great. Nope, that's okay. it. Thank you. We're all set. All right. See you next time. All right, it is 6.01. I'm just pulling into the yard. Probably gonna be the only one here so far. Yes, where is my white truck? Daryl asked me if he could use my white truck on Friday afternoon. He said he had to run somewhere and get a key, but he was coming right back and my white truck is not here. And Daryl's motorcycle is here. So that tells me one thing, that Daryl still has my white truck. There's Daryl in my white truck. I'm sure he thought I wouldn't be here this early so I wouldn't even notice. Well, it's been raining all weekend and look at the window on my form truck. Wide open again. Man, I've told these guys I don't know how many times. Soaked in here, absolutely soaked in here to roll up my windows. Why do you still have my truck? I was just over there by the I came in, turned around, I went to go talk. But you had my truck all weekend? No. You're sure? You know I have security cameras, right? Go check, ask more. Oh, okay, I will. I was cleaning out the truck, and uh, I just talked to him out there. Okay. I sent Eric last time, and he got the worst banana boards I've ever seen in my life. They're very difficult to set. Like, half of those are just like, more. Not only are they this way, but they're this way. They kind of go like this. <laughs> you conquer guys know that could be really frustrating when you're trying to set forms that are like that. Come on, Eric. Mike's here. Bugs is here. Hi, Jay. Jay's here. Morning, Eric. Oh, the dog I see your hair is perfect again. Okay. Wait till the end of the day. I know. How do you feel like that? Marcel's here. A friend, he's the last one in. Wow. 6.30, we're leaving. You don't need the trailer. No, no. no, we're just setting up anyway, so you're disconnected already. All right, we're out of here. Francisco's just about here. All right, here we go. We're about 15 minutes from the job. Not bad. I like the close ones. Plus, the job is right around the dumps and the places that get stoned, which is always a big money saver. If you're waiting for trucks and blowing through diesel and all that, it just cuts into your profit doesn't seem like a lot on a daily basis but over the course of a season it adds up to thousands and thousands of dollars all right we're pulling up to the job this is it right here just a big asphalt driveway very very easy we got to come back and do the top fill around the edges when we're done i'll show you the job here in a second morning are you ready 
All right, we're ready too. So the plan today is to remove the driveway, get the form set up, and then tomorrow I got concrete ordered. Okay, we'll knock it out, you'll have a brand new driveway tomorrow. All right, well, this is it here. You guys saw it already. The only thing on this driveway we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take this side down some, because right now it almost looks like it's a level from the garage door over this way. So we'll get that fixed up though. All right, I just text Autumn. I told her to stay home today. We're getting so far behind editing videos. I told her to just stay home and try to catch up a little bit. I'll run the cameras on this one. I only have Autumn for a few more weeks and she goes back to school. You guys do a lot of jet skiing? Oh. But yeah, we do have a place up north. I was gonna say, I can imagine you on a jet ski going like I, 70, I, no, I hopping know. over the wakes. But I, but I was out there. <laughs> they looks like so much fun. All right, we've been here for like over 10 minutes. Daryl left the yard before us and he's still not here. I'm ready to get going here, let's go. Why are you late? Tell me the truth. I wasn't late, 6.33. No, 6.33 is not late? Because we start at 6.30. Well, yeah, but... Oh, oh, okay. You see Daryl? He was in the, the truck with the Bobcat. And we've been here for like over 10 minutes already. You getting all the bananas ready? Yep. <laughs> Man. I can see how crooked they are from here. They're so bad. You know when Eric grabbed the 2 by 4s People will dig through the 2 by 4s and put the really bad ones in another pile. I think Eric grabbed from that other pile. I'm serious. He's like, wow, these are really good. Didn't even look at them. I don't think so. Come on, Daryl. Two hours later. Finally. I don't know what he was doing at the gas station. Man, you were at the gas station for at least 15 minutes. Oh, it was hot. I ate everything on the way to the truck. Oh, my God. Excuses. I don't even want to listen to that. I just want to get to work. So you got lost. That's your excuse? You got lost? After I eat my breakfast out the way. <laughs> oh, now <laughs> we're being a little bit more honest. You were eating your breakfast. Mm -hmm. Every time anybody sees you, they always call me. They're like, I saw Daryl on the side of the road. <laughs> I hope this thing holds up today. So this thing, the lift arms have been going up really, really slow. All right, here we go. You ready, Jade? You ready? She's ready. She's ready. Concrete tomorrow, we gotta get this ready. We gotta get this set up. All right, that's it. I'm gonna put the bucket on and start loading. It's lifting good right now. I don't know if it's just because the fluid's not hot yet or what, but it's lifting. Look at Marcel setting forms already. Wow. Yeah, why don't you just put a pin there, we'll get the pitch right, and then we could just measure off too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Down one inch, and we'll call it good for this side. Uh, somebody grab a concrete saw and cut an edge on here, because this, we can't, we can't. We gotta cut this straight, because that looks terrible. Yeah, because this all has to go. Like, we'll just cut it like this. You bang it out? Yeah. It's a... You banged it out already? Yeah, we yeah. banged it out. We just wanted to start. That's... Now we're talking. Oh, look at that. I thought you said you banged it out. Uh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, you banged laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> bang it out a little more. Okay, here. That's quite a bit lower. Now we got pitch from the garage floor to the form, though. That's the way it really needs to be. Because before, well, I mentioned that the asphalt was level or 
maybe pitching back a little bit now it's right it's the way it's got to be if she really doesn't like it up there how high the landscape is to the driveway we can put a three and a half inch roll curve we put a two by four on top to solve that issue so either way it's not a big deal i just have to charge her you know a few hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks for a curb all right i'm gonna load up the rest of this asphalt well it's not all gonna fit on that truck but i'm gonna put as much as i can it's going good it's only uh it's only eight o'clock right now. I've been doing estimates, but I haven't been able to get people to sign on a dotted line. It's becoming a little bit more difficult, it seems like, but we'll see what happens. This makes me a little nervous because normally people sign right up and I don't have much issue with that. But right now I think people are thinking a little bit more about how they're spending their money. Pillar, please. Shovel the corner out by the pillar so we can set forms there. And your hair is still nice. You haven't done anything yet, have you? Yeah, I did. Grab a string, Eric. Let's see if that sidewalk lines up with the driveway all the way. Go down farther and see if this thing is straight. Bring me a pin and a hammer, please. It's pretty good, eh? I would finish this before you put all them pins, man, because you might have to make adjustments with the shape. Because it's not going to start going straight till here. It's got to look good. This is the height. This is pretty good. All right, that's it. it worked pretty good. I'm going to load up Mike with the rest of this asphalt. And then we got a bunch of fill we got to get rid of, too. Mike, you want to load this up? What do you mean it's up to me? You're the boss. I said, do you want to? If you want me to, I will. Go ahead. All right, Mike's gonna load the rest of that asphalt. Let's see if Mike knows what he's doing. I already know he knows what he's doing. Oh, no, he doesn't know what he's doing. That was good, except as you lift, you gotta level the bucket. If you lift it like this, one of those chunks oh, could come oh, back yeah. and hit you right in the knee. I had a chunk of concrete hit me right in the knee that was about this big oh, one. Really? It was bad news. Yeah, so I'm just, just, to get used just go, yeah, just go slow and make sure you level the bucket as you lift so all that material stays in the bucket. Okay. All right, it's raining again. Not real hard though, we're gonna keep going. Make sure the windows are up on these trucks. Nothing that's gonna soak us right now. I mean, it doesn't feel great, but nothing that's gonna make us stop either. It is Monday, so I expected something, but so far, I don't really have anything to complain about. Everybody showed up. The weather cleared out just in time. This little drizzle's no big deal. Job's going good, it's going quick. It's only, uh, it's only 8.41 right now. We got almost the whole driveway out, upper deck is set. Pretty much just have to dig down, get rid of that material, grade it. Should be done by about lunchtime today. It's a lot faster than I thought. I was figuring like 1 30, 2 o'clock ish. I think we'll be done by 12, 12 30. All right, Mike's doing a nice job loading up the asphalt. Move to the other side of the street. Oh! 
Hey, he got some good time though. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. There's no Chick-fil-A in this road. It's not nice, but it just it's just refreshing. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, it feels great. They all run to the garage, but they don't care about my power tools. Come on. Oh, it's raining pretty good right now. We're gonna shut her down for a few minutes and let the rain stop. We're getting soaked. Yeah, the rain is on and off and on and off and on and off. All right, so I'm just pushing this gravel around here. We're still raining. I got most of the gravel out of the upper deck. We're going to start grading here in just a second. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Eric. Sending uh, a bunch of people that are calling over to Eric so he can stay busy on his side work. I don't want the small jobs and it's actually nice to be able to say hey I don't do small jobs but I know somebody that does people actually appreciate that so it's good for me and it's good for him it's almost 10 o'clock already it was supposed to clear out by like 7 but it'll clear out we'll be fine we're almost done everything's set all we gotta do is grade the bug is gonna run his compactor like a champion and that's pretty much it compactor didn't even start grading yet but bugs is ready he's ready i'm running the compactor bugs you run the machine <laughs> he's ready we didn't even start grading you better hurry up a lot of good your safety glasses are going to do hanging right here yeah right Go dump that and then call me i might need gravel always wrap it back around the pin you went too low Right? Yeah. Always wrap it back around a pin because if you're doing this, it's hard to overlap them. See okay. that? So bring it back around, then you can overlap that to that. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then it overlaps real easy. Okay. So always bring it back towards you. Okay. Instead of trying to pull it straight because it's almost impossible to overlap it when you're pulling it straight across. That's my Monday. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, we just started this this morning. We ripped out the whole driveway. It's all set up, ready to go. Yeah, so you put the tree in and you have to figure out how Easy to get money. And, uh, Thank you. Years Bye. 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 Thank you. Marcel stubbed his toe on loose gravel. How did you do that? <laughs> Back that truck up so we can get all that little gravel that's under the tire. We're good. We'll help him tire the machine down. Don't be trying to get out of any work, Eric. Your hair's not even messed up yet. All right, we're all set up and ready to go. The guys are just finishing up cleaning up the road. This driveway is about 36 yards or so. I'm gonna pour half and half tomorrow. It's supposed to be a really nice day tomorrow, about 78 degrees. So everything should go pretty well. Adios. Adios. Adios, amigos. Thank you for this day, Abba. Adios. Good morning. It is about 5.30 on a Tuesday. I'm just getting ready to go pour that driveway that we set up yesterday. 
I just wanted to do one quick shout out to my friends up in Canada. A lot of you have been reaching out lately, phone calls, emails, messages, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I'm up here in Wisconsin, so we are essentially neighbors, and I hope you guys have a great day. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jewel. Good, how's the coffee business? Jewel. No house blend. How are you today? Doing well. Pulled your coffees on us today. Morning, Lisa. All right, it is 5.58. I'm just pulling into the yard. Daryl called me and he took the white truck to the gas station. He's here already. But so far, that looks like it's it. The guys will be showing up in a little bit here. Bugs is here. Jade's here. There she is. She always finds that tape. She's gonna take her long to find something to chew on. Good girl. She Good likes morning. balls of tape. Yeah, morning. All right, there's Daryl. He took the white truck to the gas station to grab some coffee this morning. He was here early. Why don't you leave now and fill it up <clears throat> here? Because this needs fuel. Just leave now, fill it up, and go to the job, and then we can do the plywood. Mike's here. Morning. Morning. You don't have a hat? No, I have a hat. Oh. I don't have a victory hat. Oh, I'll get you a victory hat. Okay. You got to start to become victory style. Here. Now you've been here for a few weeks. Part of the now, yep. Thank you, sir. Once you put it on, you're going to feel a little something. I'll it's just. Part of the I'll, now. You feel that? <laughs> you feel it? Yep. Yes. All right, we're waiting on Eric, Francisco, and Marcel. And then we're ready to get out of here. Still relatively early, 6 16. <clears throat> They'll be here. Eric's here. <laughs> what is he listening to? I don't know. Something I was. <laughs> no. There he comes. Hello. There he comes. Oh. <sighs> What's up, Brian? What's up? Are you ready? Yeah. Francisco's here. Marcel's here. I just saw him pull in. morning all right i guess we could go marcel's taking the white truck so daryl's already there he was real early today he's like i don't want to be late like those like eric and francisco all the time <laughs> all right we're out of here it's still nice and early i'm gonna order concrete it's 6 29 I got eight o'clock. I need as much as you can fit on two trucks if it's 18 and a half or 19 or whatever. Six bag, low chert, air, microfiber, six inch slump, 20 minutes apart. Concrete's ordered. And we're out of here. Right at 6.30 on the head, that's perfect. Weather's perfect. Everybody was here on time. Daryl was here early. All right, we are here on the job. We're gonna go ahead and put some wire mesh in here. When Daryl gets here, we're gonna grab the plywood and put plywood up the driveway so the concrete trucks don't leave any ruts at all. I prefer to pick up or put down and pick up plywood than fix ruts with a pick and a shovel. Pretty sure the other guys are at the gas station going to the bathroom again. Yeah. Like usual every morning. Yep. Always punch in first. You get paid to poop. Get on the clock. Right. It doesn't get any better than that. There you go. And take your time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Morning. Morning. You ready for a new driveway? We got a perfect day for it. Concrete will be here at 8 o'clock. Oh. We just got to do all our final preparation. Oh, cool that one. Get our reinforcement in and get our felt on the garage, around the wall. Okay. <laughs> you trying to help again? All right. We're going to get ready here. Everything went fine yesterday. There was no issues at all. Good, good, good. So it did end up a little bit lower than the dirt, but when we do the topsoil, we'll taper it down. Yeah, this is going to get a little weird because the driveway kind of curves around with the two center joints. Just trying to figure out what's going to look best. Hey! I see you're starting to take after Eric. I be I be having a sleep. Man, look at your hair. It's just like Eric's today. I used to have it like Hey, that. are you jealous? 
No, I used to have it like that back in the day. Yeah? So basically, Aerie copied you. That didn't work. Messed that up. I don't even know what happened there. I used a calculator and I still messed up. <laughs> That's why I'm not an accountant. 30 foot 4. Eric, it's too early for that. Man, clearly I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I know why. It's 35 feet, not 30 feet. I was like, end of the tape measure, 30 feet. Oh, this is a 35 footer. Yeah, that'll do it every time. <laughs> wow. All right, the joints are all laid out. These two are gonna go straight until they hit the upper deck and then they're gonna curve. So that little bump out over there, it's gonna get a little bit wider, but it's gonna look better than trying to swerve this one around with the driveway and then one going straight. So it'll look better even though it's gonna be a little offset up there. It's one thing with laying out joints, obviously you gotta hit all the points where you know it's gonna crack, but then they also have to look nice. So it's always a little bit of a challenge. How's your donut? You probably should stop eating all them donuts. Or maybe you should. Yeah. Autumn's here. No Hannah this week, she's busy. Are you ready? Yep. Brand new boots, Mike? Yeah, no. Man. I know, every week you got new boots. Oh, got the other ones are so old, they're starting to They were Nike boots, dry. $20 and Timberland yeah. boots. Imagine if we had some red, white, and blue victory oh. style and puddling boots. Ooh! <laughs> Concrete's here! This guy actually knows how to pull in the driveway and everything. He pulled in like a champion. He pulled in like a champ, like you've done it before. Should have brought a junior. At least he knows what he's doing with that thing. Yeah, right. Man, I like how this guy pours. He's been doing it for a while. He doesn't mess around though. Some people pour so slow, oh, you're like yeah. waiting and waiting. Yeah. This guy's actually getting ahead of us. Eric, I had that perfect. Why are you messing with it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh! Man, you're really pulling the wire nice today. Thank you. Good job. He is good. He, you know why he's so good? Because of that beard. It gives, <laughs> for real, it gives you special powers. You know what's right around the corner? Leave season. Oh yeah. Yep. Gotta get that blow dry. Leave season. Get the Eric, you need another handle, looks like. You're digging holes, Eric. You can't dig holes, Eric. Second truck's here, perfect timing. Hey, I hope the next driver's as good as you were. I'm sorry I didn't stay on board, man. <laughs> no, you were right on. Thank you. Grab the skid loader, Daryl. It's pretty bad right here. I'm gonna have, he's grabbing the skid loader. That's too deep. Eric, if you hurt my best guy, you're done. <laughs> I'm serious. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, right. Did you see that move though? Bugs was dancing like pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Wait one second. We're gonna flatten this out real quick. Take this back out. I just didn't want that rut in there. You got any work boots? Because we're short handed. Are you sure? I don't know, you look like you're. boots are even too short. Go ahead and pile it up here. We'll fill this whole corner. Yeah, just, just back up a little bit. Now just run some and I'll tell you when.
That's good. All right, put four gallons. Four gallons. You're low on that form. You don't have to be nervous, we're professionals. Oh. Concrete work is really easy. You just slap it on the ground, smooth it out, and collect thousands of dollars. No, it strengthens your back. It adds longevity to your life. Yep. All right, we're, we're past the shutoff. Eric, you can set that shutoff now. You're all caught all both voting, so. Pull that wire by your feet, Eric, uh, Mike. Don't stand under the chute. That's a dangerous practice. A hydraulic line blows or something, you'll be this tall. You ever seen break? Yes, I have. Crazy. Yes. Oh yeah, if it's mushroom this tall, we just cover them up, <laughs> strike them off, and that's it. Yeah. The destroyer got destroyed. Yeah, right. We'll be ready in like 20 minutes when he finishes that form. Two hours later. All right, hit it. Daryl, you can get out of the way. You're done pulling wire. You're just in the way now. No, I'm not. No, yeah, no, yes, no, you no, were. No. Not trying to be mean, but all the wire is pulled. It's already no, under no, the no, concrete. Yeah. If you just scrape it real good, we'll have enough to fill that little bit. Once you're done that way, Eric, go this way with five handles all the way up. With Why are you laughing? I'm just trying to tell you what to do. You want me to do it? Are you scared? I'm sure, dude. Five oh, handles. Man. Five hand I cut joints with five handles. You can't bowl fault with that's the little thin that's handles? Tall make you taller, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Daryl, the guy in the blue, he's the boss, he'll tell you where to wash the truck. Alright, all the concrete's down. Eric's bowl floating. Look at the precision. You don't have to hold the handle above your head, Eric. No, it's you just twist it more. Alright, let's see how the concrete's doing back here in the sun. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty wet right now because we got that down really quick. That was really easy. Oh man, it's really wet. You can edge. Yeah, sure. Of course you can edge. You can edge when it's really wet, man. When my T320's down and it's been in the shop, let's see what it needs here. It's not going to be cheap. It's never cheap. Hey, John Ryan from Victory. Hey, Ryan. Hi. I don't know if you got that message that that cooler was rotted out. Okay. All right, that's uh, fourteen hundred and fifty bucks. That's it. I feel like I'm lucky today compared to drive motors and main pumps. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hear that. So that was good news, bad news. Good news is it wasn't a super expensive repair. Bad news is going to be weeks, two to three weeks before they even get the part, and then they got to fix it. So it's probably going to be a few weeks, unfortunately, before I get the track machine back. Mm. All right, I'm gonna snap some lines with Autumn and uh, just be ready to cut the joints as soon as the concrete's hard enough. This concrete usually doesn't take long, so. Autumn, wanna snap some lines with me? All right, we just need a line. I just gotta try to hit the one in the middle. I'm starting to cut the joints. Concrete's starting to firm up a bit. Still pretty wet for some reason. Stuff's been sitting up quick, but not today. All right, I'm gonna do a nice radius here and connect these two together. Should look real nice. I'm not going to readjust this head anymore because it's about ready to strip or I'm not going to be able to use this on a second pour. I'll, I'll get a little bit as far as I can and that's it. The position it's in is a position it's staying and I can only reach so far. So, Eric, you better feel it down there to second low because I think it's a lot harder down there than it is up here. You might have to start on the end and somebody starts this way and somebody starts that way. All right, that's all the joints I can get. They're gonna have to finish this one, and then this one with a board. All right, guys are hopping on. It's go time.
too wet to brew them there. I'm gonna stop, give it some time. This concrete's giving us all kinds of time, which we are not used to. Not this year, anyway. Even in the sun, it's not really popping. It's just setting up how concrete should set up. All right, guys, just got a few squares to finish up there. I am brooming. The first pour went about as good as a pour can go. Everything went perfectly, no problems. Concrete didn't set up too fast. It's actually creamy concrete. It's brooming real nice. Your hair is still nice. That wasn't hard enough. You know, usually when we pour, you look like you like all messed up at the end. <laughs> I know. Passed out in the grass. Oh, that was funny though. That, that looks good. Nice radius in the joints. All right. These last four squares in the shade are still a little bit too wet to broom, but we're 100% ready for our next pour. Should be getting here in about 30 minutes. Should be really easy. Another 18 and a half yards. Cut them buns, man. They're not. Oh, where'd you got those at Carl's too? No, um, Fuzzy the Baker. Piggly wiggly. Those are already cut right here. Diet Dr. Pepper. He didn't give me a Diet Dr. Pepper. He got me a regular mug root beer. That's not even close, man. He's so not awesome. even close. Look, I told him a Coke and he got me this. So <laughs> a moon mist? <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> That's not even like remotely in the, oh. it's not even brown. No. Daryl's just going for the stuff that was on sale. It's all shaking up. Yeah, he shook it all up, man. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Hey. There's kids playing around me. Oh. Is it okay? We're trying to pour a driveway here, if you didn't notice. See bugs? Say hi. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's Marcel, sorry. <laughs> I was like, what? I just saw the sh head shining. I didn't know. <laughs> here. Like, oh. There's bugs. Say hi, bugs. It's What's Ryan. up, Junior? Ryan Junior. You're just trying to sneak on YouTube from the back door? Tell me the truth. Were you? No. Yeah, right. No. Yes. No. Mm-hmm. You always say you want me to call you, so okay. I'm I'm open Let's right now, you. so all right, I gotta let you go. I'm gonna eat something real quick. Okay, salad. No, not salad. That's Mike. Ooh. Hey. Did oh, you hey. How you doing? Good. Is he a hard worker or is he super lazy? Tell me the truth with him sitting right here. Lazy. <laughs> uh he's in the middle, I would say. Now these guys are on the other hand lazy. Lazy. Hey. Lazy. <laughs> At least the biceps are getting bigger. I don't think it's muscle, though. I think it's fat. No, they went from 11 inches to 11 and a quarter. He's making a lot of progress this year. Hey, look at that. Huge. Yeah, we're not even All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. It's time to work again. The concrete should be pulling up. I heard it. I know I heard it. Please be a good driver. All right, concrete's here. Obviously gonna set up a lot faster than this morning with the full sun on it, it warmed up quite a bit now. Different plants, oh, same, no. same job, that's mine. No, 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 that means it's harder. It's already coming hard. No, you know it's gonna be different colors is the problem. So what's easier, driving the concrete truck or puddling the concrete? Concrete truck. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Your wrist doesn't get sore from the joystick? No. Not at all? <laughs> Not at all. Man. Man, you're getting to be a professional with the wire hook. Thank you. Really, really good work there today. He deserve a raise. I think he's on his last little spit. Still going. Maybe he'll make it. Yeah, right. Never leave ruts in, in the grade. If you leave ruts in the grade, basically what happens is you'll have that tire rut and on each side of the rut, there'll be a hump. It'll be actually be, you know, it'll make the concrete thinner at those humps and you can risk a crack right down the driveway where one of, where one of those humps is. So if you pull a truck in and it leaves any kind of ruts like that, you got to rake them flat like that. You want to maintain your five inch pour in our case. Some guys pour five, some guys pour four, whatever. So it's, it's got to be even though. Consistent is the word. Hey, he's gonna uh, he's gonna bowl float up real quick. So just give us a second. How you doing? All right. You. Good, good. Pull it back, nice and slow, Eric. Don't feel the pressure from the concrete truck that's right behind you. Oh, no. Just do it nice and slow. It'll save us time a little bit later. Are you feeling the pressure from getting the right camera shots and the angles and everything? Are you a little stressed? Tell me the truth. No. Not at all. It's easy money for you. Wow. All right, first truck's down. Second truck's here and ready to roll. There was no delay. He pulled up right when this one was empty. It was perfect timing. Should be in good shape on this one. Hey, just lay it down perfect so I don't have to use this at all. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Thank you. Not over the felt, Daryl. Ay, ay, ay. Yo, shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. Oh no. Oh, we got the Bobcat, thankfully. Because I think we got too much. Mike's actually watching me puddle and he's he's copying me and he's picking it right up. He's picking it right up. I know that. He's doing he's doing everything that I do. First day I worked here, my new Yeah. Are you stressed now? We poured the whole driveway. Are you stressed now? You should be. Don't get all the concrete off the stuff. Always leave a little on. <laughs> it's like a souvenir for the tool. You know? It gives a character. Yes. All right, I'm gonna change my boots, snap the lines. We'll get this stuff finished up. All of a sudden the poles get caught on a drum that just bends them right around in a circle. Take me alive. <laughs> all right. I think we're good. This stuff looks wet by appearance. Oh yes, another stress-free, non-fire drill kind of pour. It's a good day today. Perfect weather, good concrete, good drivers. I can tell it's definitely not a Monday. Want to snap some lines? All right. Just go all the way around. Come on, go through They're barberry bushes in between the green ones with the little stickers. So for these, I don't mark both sides. I just use my eye and I square the line off the form just by eye. You don't have to mark everything. If you've done this for a while, you know what square looks like. You just put it down and pop it. Once in a while, when you stand up, you'll realize it doesn't look perfect. So you'll snap it once again, but that's a rare thing. Everything's edged. Lines are all snapped. Francisco's just finishing up the bottom. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Eric, your hair is still nice. This is not a good day for me. It means I'm paying you from next to nothing. Remember, like two years ago, Bug said, I'm not even, I don't even use the interweb. Now he's addicted to TikTok. Man, watch this, man. Wow. Screw up man, he posts on Facebook every day. <laughs> He's on TikTok. Right. Some of them TikTok are pretty cool. All right, that is very straight. This concrete just makes everything easier. Everything easier. Even putting the joints in is easier. It's the joint. The bolt's all stripped. You're gonna see right now how stripped it is. Oh, that thing is bad. 
That's as good as it's gonna get. It's still loose. I know where Eric wants to start finishing. Right there in the shade. Yeah. Right, Eric? All right, guys are on it. All I gotta do is finish the two center joints on the bottom from the road edge. And that's it. Somebody's gonna run over our hose that's laying right in the center of the street. Look it. Who leaves a hose in the middle of the road? Hi. Think I get a check? Sure. Thank you. Uh, why, why don't you just hold like a hold like a thousand off till we do the topsoil. Oh! Use a real hammer. That's hard back there. That didn't leave a mark. Use a real hammer, Eric. Come on, Franny. You seen his arms got bigger. He can handle the eight pounder now. But yeah, we're running caution tape there and all the way up to here. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Well, thank you very much. Can't leave rocks in the grass. Otherwise, the lawnmower will hit them and go through our window, and then it'll and then it'll hit the outlet, start the house on fire, burn the whole neighborhood down. And then put the driveway. It'll be like the Chicago there. fire, but it'll be the Brookfield fire. Exactly. It'll be all our fault. Ugh. That would only happen on a Monday, though. Probably not on a Wednesday or a Tuesday. All right, we're all done here on this driveway. It turned out fantastic. I'd have to say that was probably one of the best pours of the year. What do you say, Eric? Yes, sir. It was. I mean, that was about as smooth as concrete can go. No pun intended, right, Daryl? No. Yep. So it turned out real good. We cut it up real small sections. <sighs> Looks real good. You guys saw it. I'm not going to walk all the way up there again. But it was 36 yards. I ordered 37. We didn't run short. So everything went good. Tomorrow we're going to do a patio. And then next week, we got another big driveway. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. 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 Thank you for this day, Abba. Adios. Peace out. Adios. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate the business. Shout out to your nephew. What's his name? Josh Porter. Josh Porter. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. All right, thanks for watching. All right, see you later. Thank you.